today on this episode, we are actually going to be finishing up that roller coaster over there. It's been an eyesore for me for a while now. I have built a whole bunch of oak fences, and hopefully I do not run out. I've got basically three stacks, and I can make more. Hopefully I don't have to go and get more wood for this, because... Oh, that'd be a pain. But, um, yeah, let's go do that right now. Now, you've probably noticed since the last episode I've made some upgrades. <coughs> I love these things. They're awesome elevators. And also, I got rid of the ugliness there. Super button. You can quickly get in there. You have to be really fast, though. You know, fixed it up. Everything looks nice. Everything looks nice. Get out that way. I've even had doorbells. Now, I was playing with a friend a little while ago. I don't know. If, I can't remember if... This if his house was here yet or not? I don't think it was. I've also gave him a doorbell when you walk through the door. You got a super smelter here, which is pretty neat design. You just put uh, hoppers connected to a chest over the top of two furnaces, and then you put another hoppers connected to the front of them, which is for the fuel. This is for the top. This is for the fuel, and this is where it exits. And you put them underneath, and uh. Snow golems over there. I have tried to work on that farm. I cannot get the pumpkin farm to work. I do not think it works anymore. That farm works just fine. But the pumpkin farm, I think that's a lost cause. I'm actually going to destroy that block. Thank you. So this is where we left off on the last time. So let's just get the building it. You know, I get to talk to you guys for a little bit. Might go do something else in a sec. Hopefully it won't take too long. The hardest part is actually going to be... uh. That part right over there. And I'm actually thinking of, at some point, seeing if I can use wool and make a cool little tunnel that you drop through. Because you do drop when you go through the thing. I can actually show you that quick after I finish up this part. Alright, let's place these last blocks. There we go. So if I head over here. And this is the only entrance right now. If I press on this and go forward, or I could just forward, whatever. Pulse press on it and then you go forward. There's actually a drop off right here. So I was hoping I'm maybe making like a cool little thing there. So I'm actually gonna break this. Why is this taking so long? never take this long to break a piece of wood. Okay. This is very awkward. That was weird. That never happens. Alright. Then I'm crazy. I actually have axe. I went the wrong way. Anyway. So let's uh, finish up doing this uh, part over here. Now, I actually haven't done Minecraft in a while. I did a episode of Hitman last week. And I'm actually thinking I'm going to do two episodes this week. One for Minecraft first, and then I'm going to post another episode of Hitman. Because I feel like it's going to do not bad, actually. I actually got a pretty good... Somebody who's actually popped up out of nowhere and had searched up basically the name of my thing, not entirely. And, uh... They actually watched that video all the way through, and my last video of how to mine diamonds, which should be, which hopefully would have popped up already now in the top right. If you want to click on that, you can go see how to mine diamonds really fast in uh, the most recent updates of Minecraft. I'm actually going to work here. Nerd pole! Okay. But you can actually learn how to uh, build... Well, not build, but <laughs> dig really, really fast for diamonds in this game from that episode. Now, I will admit I was not the first one, if you're still watching this episode. I was not the first one to figure out how to do it, but neither was the guy that I learned it from either. And I thought I'd just help share the information. Now, it's been a while since I watched that last video. He actually uh, went and said who the guy was that he found out about it from. We thought it up first, and I have no idea what his name was. So, if you really want to know that, um, I might be able to find out and tell you in the next episode, but I don't think any of you care. So, let's just move on to getting this done, shall we? Alright. Let's just build.
build these over as well so that I can reach them. Boom, boom. I guess I'm kind of just building here. You know, not sure what else to do here. Other than just let you see me build. But, you know, it's fine. You guys can talk. You can enjoy the look of it when it's done. Luckily, it won't take much longer to get this done. So I might actually run out of gosh dang thanks. Out of fences. <laughs> My gosh. Kind of not paying attention <laughs> to what I was doing. Kind of just going through the motions of placing blocks. That's a one of the risks whenever you're building stuff in Minecraft. Okay, I actually have 63 left. Hopefully, this will be enough. Hopefully, I have reached up to all these places, but I do have to place all these blocks all the way down the ground. So, this could be ugly. And boom. And there. Now, I'm not too worried right now. I do have... I used to actually have an iron golem. I named him, uh... Alan. Though... So, I was eventually going to rename him uh, into Alphonse. I like that name better. And I kept accidentally calling him Alphonse. Every time I saw him, I went, wait, no, I forgot your name's Alan. <laughs> but he actually ran away on me a little while ago. It was really annoying. I have no idea where he could have gone or where he went. But I looked around and I couldn't find him. And I guess he probably, he didn't despawn because he has a name tag. So he's somewhere. He's somewhere out there. Where he is, I have no idea. I'm actually about to run out of gosh dang things. I'm actually kind of running into uh, Edward's place. Ow. That's actually Edward's house. Yes, I named my snow golem Edward. Alphonse and Edward, you guys probably got a good laugh out of that, okay? Moving on. I'm actually going to go run back to the house. So I can sleep and hopefully not die. I do hate drowned. I do hate... Oh. Drowned? I feel like you're just one of the dumbest things I ever made added to this game. I mean, I love the tridents that they give you, but other than that, they just suck because they can spawn anytime they want. And they just, it's a ha they're just a hassle. And then the phantoms are pretty annoying, because that means you cannot be outside at night up high, or you'll be knocked off your high pedestal and will die. Other than that, the game is still fine. I did hear that they're going to be adding, uh... What are they called? They're going to be adding... Bees to the next update. Now, I actually have no idea why they're going to add bees. <laughs> of all things, bees. There's tons of other things they could have added, but I, I mean, I guess bees would be pretty cool. They're just not what I expected, and I'm guessing that's not what a, a lot of people expected. But you know, we, we get what we get. I'm actually gonna change up the design here a little bit and not make it perfect good. I'm actually gonna break out some of these and only make it where a little bit comes down. So it kind of goes up a little bit and it's only connected to the ground by other things. So like that. There we 
go. See, I like, I think I like the look of that. And then it can be connected down here so that it will not affect Edward's house. So then we can do this. Kind of just continue the slope downwards a little bit till it's like a three. Like that. And then we can just go straight down. Plus, it would be a lot more efficient. We won't be wasting so many fences. There we go. And let's get rid of all this dirt. Luckily, I made this just far enough apart from each other so they're not sharing the same support. So it works. I'm, nice. I'm not blinking enough. I'm not blinking enough. My eyes are burning out of my skull. It probably doesn't help my characters looking right into the sun in this game. I just, just not a lot of action to talk about right now. Mostly my problem. I'm not, I wish I <laughs> could be a little bit more active in my talking, but you know, you, you gotta do what you gotta do, and uh, well, right now I'm trying to do what I gotta do, doing my best, and, you know, it, it works, it'll work out in the end, I mean, most people unfortunately do not watch my videos this far in, they mostly only watch like the first two minutes except for that one guy who's an absolute trooper thank you bud I'm actually gonna break this because I'm not, not really gonna be worried about them getting in there I'm actually gonna see if I have any more wood make a couple more fence posts or hopefully I have more fence posts because it'd be nice to block it off so nothing can get in there because I did have a constant problem before, that's why I have all those fence posts there. I had a constant problem of animals actually getting into the minecart. Because I just leave the minecart there, instead of moving it. So they'd constantly get in it. Being little turds. Well, I got three, I guess I'm going to have to go get more, a little bit more wood. Luckily it won't be that hard, I can just... But yeah, if you're wondering how to make these, if you're still here... Uh, it's pretty simple. Magma block, you just put the magma block down and it'll pull you down instantly. And it will give you air as you get pulled down. Uh, this, to make this where it will propel you up, all you need is soul sand. So you have to go to the nether for it. All you need is to get a piece of soul sand and put a magma block like this on the left side or right side. I have another magma block behind it right over there. And it will actually propel you upwards like this. Like that. And it will also give you air. It's pretty simple. You can go up as high as you want. It will work forever. Now, you can actually use redstone to move stuff around using sticky pistons and redstone. And you can make it uh, very atomized. So, it will. you only have one. You can do it with only one block of water. Also, for it to work, you also need uh, uh, source blocks, not just running water. So, you have to use a bucket for every block you go up. Or you can actually do a glitch, which I didn't do by the way, real quick. You can actually do a glitch, live your live a kelp. And it like uh you can the kelp plants, you can actually place those down in the water and it will you can just keep building them up and I believe it will turn running water into source blocks. Which is really handy for doing really long ones. Trust me, sometimes it is very annoying to deal with trying to make everything a sort of block. I will admit that. It's not the most fun, but it's doable. Alright, so let's uh, block that off. 
And let's build the rest of these stupid, uh... See, this, this is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. I get in the stupid cart. And it's really annoying. You want to know something that's really annoying? Is once... I actually... It wasn't because of the animals. The animals you can just kill and get rid of them. No, it was... Alan, my iron golem, actually got stuck in it. And it took so much effort to get him out of it. It was ridiculous. You have no idea. It took way too long to get him out of that. It was ridiculous. But, quick tip. <laughs> if you're still watching, like, hopefully, I hope you are. You probably aren't, though. Knowing most people. But, um... If you ever have a iron golem get stuck into a minecart, what you have to do is is get you have to dig underneath them and break the minecart from the bottom. That's the only way. It's the only way you can do it. You have to break it from the bottom. You can't break it from the top or anything because you'll just hit the iron golem. You have to break it from the bottom. It's the only way to do it. Otherwise, you're screwed. <laughs> Trust me, I know from experience. I did not kill him, thank God. But I actually got underneath it and was able to get him free. I'm actually just going to close this off so nothing can get in here. Because, yeah, they, they can just hop right over if they want. <laughs> so I'm just going to block that off and break this last piece. And that, ladies and gentlemen... Probably mostly just gentlemen. Uh, is the roller coasters uh, outline done basically? Now I just need to add some wool. Uh, here I have wool back in the thing. I should have grabbed that earlier. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of wool just to see what it'd look like. I need to dye some. I need to get more dyed wool, I think. I actually have plenty of dyed wool. I can use orange. But it's not gonna be super detailed because I'm trying to hurry up because I don't wanna make this really long. But, I'm going to see what it actually looks like with some wool on top of the entrance. Now, I'm not the best at using this uh, jukebox. Not jukeboxes, but uh, no blocks. <laughs> not very good with them, but it's fine. I actually have a better tune over there I'll show you in a sec. I like that tune better. I'm not too picky. Okay, so what I want to do is, is, let's put a block there. Let's put this here. Put it there. And then we will go up a block. I think I'm just going to do stripes. Boom. That's not it. That was not right. There we go. Let's break that. And let's get rid of these dirt blocks because they aren't going to need it. Okay. So let's go here. There. And there. Boom. Why, why do I keep doing that? I'm so stupid. Okay, so really, I mean to do that. Really, I could just do it like this, being dumb. Boom. And then you go like that, like that, like that. Okay, and last row. And that looks actually pretty nice. I need to light it up a little bit, but it actually looks pretty good. I'm actually going to get a lantern at some point, and I'm going to place it with lanterns and put lanterns in there. But that looks actually really nice. I actually like how that looks. I'll take it. Okay. So, before I sign off, because that's all I was going to do for this episode, is build this, finish up this roller coaster.
basically. Now it's not an, so much of an eyesore, it actually looks nice and decent. I need to add lights to it. I'll do that off camera probably, because that'd be boring. <laughs> More boring than what I just did, but here I'm going to let you listen to this tune real quick. It's not as it's not very long, but it's better than the one I have from my house. And but yeah, also I actually did redstone, so no matter which one you step on, whichever pressure plate you step on, it will open both doors. It's actually really simple, but if I showed you, you would be very confused. I might show you how to do it later. I actually watched a video by uh, I think it was Mumbo Jumbo. Yeah, if you know who Mumbo Jumbo is, <laughs> he's pretty crazy on redstone. But anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure he actually showed me how to do this, or it was some other guy. But it's fine. It's pretty simple redstone. All you do is you attach redstone from each of these and go around to the door to each side, and you do it on both sides. Then you connect them to it, so it will open the door. So whichever one you do will activate the redstone to the opposite door. So it will open at the same time. So no matter which one you step on, you don't have to step in the middle of them. You can just step on one and it will open both doors. So it's a lot nicer. Well, anyway, that's all I've got time for today. And, uh, well, thank you for watching. If you made it all the way through, I'm Patriot Warrior. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys later.